Previously, we have done a couple of videos related to Node and TypeScript and how you can configure them and run them with database. If you haven't yet checked them out, please follow the links uh, down in description. And today we are going to discuss for the same project how you can build an optimized Docker file. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and like this video that will help a lot to run this channel later on. Most of the Node uh, and TypeScript projects will probably have a similar node kind of structure for the Docker, Docker images, which is fine. Uh, for example, if you just built your project, having a Docker file similar to this one uh, will just help you run it in production without any issues. But uh, for the later development process, whenever you have, for example, an intensive deployment uh, or development things going on locally, you will see that in most of the cases, when you build your Docker image, it will start rebuilding all over again uh, from your node modules, whenever you change something in your packages. Similar to this one, the, whenever we change something in our project, uh, if that could be like even commenting out some section or just maybe removing this course uh, usage just to check what will happen. And suddenly when we start building our app, it starts to rebuild and install all, all of the uh, package sources again which is kind of messy because you haven't done any changes there so why it actually rebuilds it just because uh, when you run this command inside docker and docker does that automatically whenever you try to build it it detects actually changes in your files and because you don't have any separation whether if what kind of file changes will be affected by node package installation it just runs the same uh, command all the time whenever you change any file in your uh, project so that's why we we kind of want to build it's more flexible way in a more flexible way meaning that whenever we run docker image build we will build just a single layer at a time and if we don't change don't have any changes inside our package uh, json or package lock or yarn lock based on wh what you use we don't need to rebuild entire docker image and just to complete a single change so the idea here is just to minimize the docker image rebuilding and image layers rebuilding which will save you a lot of time for example in this case if i'll run docker build command with the tag node ts just for the testing purposes it will try to build entire docker image so it performs an yarn install here which is kind of adding all of that node module things uh, in your project root folder that's the most heavy operation for this kind of a docker image builds so we try to minimize all of that stuff uh, by just keeping it simple which we will build in a, in a second i will just show you how it actually tries to rebuild the, that node modules all the time whenever you try to change something in your code even if that's a very insignificant change in one of your files or even like just adding a comment so right now i have uh, my node ts uh, docker image built already and if i try to uncomment this up course which is a change for a single file no other like changes made for this docker file and if i tr will try to build the same docker image again uh, it will pull and use the same node 
image but again it will try to install uh, node packages all over again which is kind of dummy of course we don't need to install these kind of node modules all the time whenever we change something in our files and we really want to make these node modules yarn install whenever we change uh, an actual package json or an actual yarn lock or package lock what we have to do is basically we have to add our package json independently to our docker image and add our yarn lock file independently again to our app directory inside the docker so that docker will try to add this first and then will run yarn command which is basically an install command for uh, all of this and then after having this yarn install command we will basically add our entire directory uh, to the app and ignoring specific files that we defined in our docker ignore and then we basically running the same build command only and because we already done yarn install here and we have set already our work directory so basically we just split it our yarn install and yarn build commands into separate commands because uh, if you remember the purpose why we are doing this is because when we don't have any changes for package json and yarn lock we basically don't have to rebuild our node modules and yarn install will reuse the same docker image layer and we will execute only yarn build which is basically builds our typescript files into javascript files and that will free up of, from installing all the time the node typescript and the rest of the dependencies uh, inside node modules so right now if i'll try to run the same command it will build node modules for the first time just only for the first time and it will try to run a yarn command as it is intended so it, it adds these two files then runs a yarn command there by preparing all of the necessary package dependencies there then it just copies the app folder what we have everything there and then it runs the basic thing for building a typescript to javascript project so whenever this installation process is done and we pre-build all the necessary files here into javascript meaning that we're ready for the running in production next time when we change something in our app use for example we will comment this or whatever we change not changing a package json won't affect anything here because we don't have any changes in that layers initial build is done so whenever right now if i will try to build my changes here which i've done just a single comment here and when I, whenever i try to build as you can see here it doesn't really tries to make a yarn install it just reuses the existing image layer and it runs only yarn build because that's the only part that has changed here but if i will try to for example edit the package json file let's say let's try to like fix this dependency uh, just wherever edit that we need and if i'll try to rebuild same docker image again it will install all of the dependencies because first of all we have changed a yarn package json file and the dependency version most probably will be changed which means the yarn lock will be changed as well but that's the main purpose of having 
the separation between an actual packages and your source code uh, commands so that whenever you have a local builds running all the time or you have a production CI or continuous deployment thing that you run on your GitHub actions so GitLab actions you won't be you will be able to run them a lot faster because it all the time reuses and caches the image layer responsible for the most uh, storage aggressive thing which is not modules in this case so hope you'll enjoy it and this will probably save you a lot of time so don't forget to subscribe for the next coming tips